So the mount you've seen in my lighthouse videos is called an Alp Azimuth mount. However, I wanted to get a portable equatorial mount as well. The telescope mounts I'm using, the Skywatcher as EQ6 and the Celestron AVX, they are fabulous mounts, but they're just too large and heavy to make transportation practical. This is a Skywatcher Star Adventure mount, and I was looking at them in the USA while I was over there for the total solar eclipse. However, I realized I could pick up the whole package more economically in Sydney. So on the way home from the airport yesterday, I stopped in at Bintel and grabbed one of these. Now, this is a Star Adventurer mount. It comes with a bracket for mounting your camera. And this bracket is fantastic because it's got a little declination adjustment. It's only motorized on the polar axis. So that's the equatorial axis that is aligned with the Earth's rotational axis. To make that easier, it even comes with its own polar alignment scope and it is battery powered just with four AA cells. Now the operation is very simple. It's just off. You can select sidereal tracking, which is for tracking the stars, solar tracking, and lunar tracking. So it just tracks at a slightly different rate for each of those celestial objects. It comes with a latitude base which allows you to angle and polar align correctly. Just a matter of loosening off this and then winding that wheel for the different latitudes. Now I'm going to make a series of videos just using this mount, just demonstrating how it does actually track objects in the sky because it tracks objects just by rotating this single axis. So this mount does not have a computer. It's not programmed to follow the stars. It's a simple mechanical mount with a motor drive that simply rotates on this one axis. And it is that motion that is allowing us to track the objects in the sky once the mount is aligned with the rotational axis of the Earth. You'll see the camera can track the sun all day like that. Once the sun sets, the mount can continue for another 180 degrees. It's still actually following the sun. And then you'll see the sunrise, and then we'll continue tracking. Now I'm going to do my 24 hour time lapse on the telescope soon, but this little mount also has adjustments for the southern or the northern hemisphere. It basically reverses the rotation. So you can expect to see a lot more videos featuring this mount because the way these equatorial mounts work, being able to track celestial objects with a single axis of rotation all day absolutely proves that these objects, the sun, the stars and the moon are not doing circles above a flat earth. Now I've seen people come to my channel saying that these mounts do work on a flat earth. That's completely wrong. It is just completely incorrect to say that because they don't. The only place they could work on a flat earth is directly at the North Pole. But certainly from places like Australia, they would not work at all. However, because they do work, this is proof and really irrefutable proof that the earth is not flat with objects doing circles in the sky above us. Equatorial mounts have been around for many years you can buy them like this, you can buy more advanced models such as my AZ-EQ6 and they just work. When you set them up at various latitudes and polar align them, they track objects all day in the sky just with this single axis of rotation. So if you're a flat earther and you believe that these would work on a flat earth, I can assure you that you're 100% wrong. Go away and think about the geometry and please don't embarrass yourself on my channel saying that these will work on a flat earth because that is 100% incorrect. So there's my P900 camera, which has seen a lot of use on telescopes, tracking mounts, and also regular tripods. I recently got back from the USA where I used this camera to video the total solar eclipse from Casper, Wyoming. Now, unfortunately, due to all the use, mine had started to develop cracks around the mounting hole. And I think the problem is that the camera is quite heavy and it's nose heavy, the mounting hole position is not even close to the center of gravity. So when you mount it on a base, particularly on a telescope which is moving around, in order to prevent the camera from moving, 
you need to tighten it up quite firmly and that is probably what caused the cracking in the mount. Anyway, I've repaired it with a bit of epoxy and tape so it's not going to get any worse. However, I don't feel confident using that same mounting hole because the problem will only recur. What I found is that my Canon lens mounting ring fits perfectly on the P900 and what it does is result in a much better mount. It's closer to the center of gravity. This mount is metal so you can tighten it up without it going to crack and it holds the camera quite rigidly. So I think anyone who uses a P900 a lot, this is a, a good solution which will prevent the same problem occurring. So there it is mounted on the Celestron telescope and it's a far more rigid connection than just using the original hole and also it's better balanced. There's virtually no play in that movement. When I was using the original P900 hole directly on the piggyback mount, the nose heavy nature of the camera was resulting in some flex and the lens would actually angle down just slightly when the telescope was horizontal and then as the telescope moved to a vertical position the camera would tilt back slightly and that resulted in the sun moving around in the frame but with this more rigid connection we should have consistent results. So as you know I have a series of solar filters that I've been using in my videos but I'm always on the lookout for something that will work better and before heading off to the USA recently I ordered one of these Rokolax 67mm ND100000 filters for the P900. When I arrived home yesterday, it had arrived and I'm pleased to say that it's a really nice filter. It's optical glass and it gives a natural white colour on the sun. I'll just mount it to the P900 and show you how neat it is. So there's the Rokolax filter fitted to the P900. As you can see, it's a clean fit. And what I'll do now is just play a short video sample taken with this filter and the P900 of the sun this morning. 